Hello everyone, this is Defense Politics Asia and uh, this is the Frontline Changes report for the past 24 hours. And uh, the first Frontline, uh, we're going to go through a few Frontline change. Uh, there's around four, uh, Kai Slivka, uh, Nova Selitsky, uh, Netelove as well as Novo Mihailivka and a few, uh, some major thingy to, to talk about. Uh, first, go to Kai Slivka over at the Kupians front. Uh, the the Russian forces previously I mentioned they have captured uh, quite a bit of this uh, eastern ground uh, based on information coming from uh, the Ukrainian mapping uh, the Russian forces continue to expand their control uh, over the eastern part of Kislevka as they have taken more grounds uh, this leave very little bit of uh, Kislevka left and according to the Ukraine uh, sorry coming from Russian sources they claim that the Ukrainian forces have redrawn southward towards Kotlia Rivka. So uh, there is no fighting being reported at Kotlia Rivka. So I'm not sure what is happening right now. And uh, the entire western part of Kaislevka is, according to the Russians, uh, under the fog of war. Nobody knows what's happening over there. So this is uh, the situation over at Kaislevka. Further south from this position over at the Sviatove front is at Novo Selitsky. Russian forces allegedly was attacking at Novo Selitsky and uh, there is dual location of Russian forces at this position. But this is not a capture. I'm I'm classifying, classifying this as a Russian presence. So it will be an overlapping mapping because the Ukrainians were defending very well at this position. So we managed to hold off the attack around this area here at Novo Selitsky, just south of it. So that's all for Novo Selitsky. And we, we move on to... Uh, the situation in the DFK front, the Russian Defense Ministry has announced the capture of Novo Bakhmutivka. The, this comes after the we have reported about the capture a week ago on the 23rd of April. So it's only after until 28th that the Russian Defense Ministry actually uh, re, you know, officially uh, reports the capture of Novo Bakhmutivka. So very interesting because the Russian Defense Ministry uh, around one month ago i guess have been uh reporting too early and uh they haven't even secured the village and they say that it's captured around maybe a few weeks ago so now they are like very belated in their announcement so an another frontline change is over at netelove just uh south still also at the dfk front russian forces uh joe located right in the almost the center of netelove which means that the Russian forces have captured the entire eastern part of Netelove in a very sudden change of the front line. And uh, so this 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 geolocation is is by Deep State UA. So uh, this is actually very confirmed. And uh, we, because there's, there is, is a geolocation. So uh, the other the few the, the fighting will continue. Uh, we'll definitely see more fighting around here. But uh, this front line change is going really fast. Like is not even normal at all uh, for this war uh, in the in the scale of this war uh, such frontline change is too fast um, and uh, the next frontline change is over at Novo Mihailivka in the Donetsk front so uh, at the Donetsk front uh, the Ukrainian uh, mapping have confirmed that the Russians have taken the rest of this Dacha uh, region and they have taken the very little bit left of the Novo Mihailivka and this prompts the Ukrainian mapper uh, Deep State UA to confirm that uh, the Russian forces have captured Novo Mihailivka. So the 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 first confirmation of the capture was reported by the Russian Defense Ministry on the 22nd and uh, it is only until on the 28th that the Ukrainian mapping has confirmed that the Russians have taken the Dacha regions in the north of Novo Mihailivka as well. So confirming the final capture of the entire city so or town. So that's all for this area at Novo Mihailivka. And uh, and there's one more change. It's over actually at the Kherson front, and which is very weird. Uh, this is actually reported by the Ukrainian side. They claim that they have captured this entire island called Nestiga. So this, this okay, wrong wrong color. This island, they claim that they have secured this island, Nestiga. But my question would be: Is it even contested? Did the Russians even try to hold the island? I'm really not sure. Uh, this comes a little bit weird and um, yeah, it just don't make sense. Ukrainian forces have uh, landed forces here long, long time ago and, I, and I've never saw any reports or anything that suggests fighting around here. So 
I think this could be just an attempt to you know to to at least you know put some good news across the 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 endless bad news that came out from uh, the front lines and uh, that is the totally inconsequential capture of an island that is uh, totally out of you no know, contention so anyway uh this is the frontline changes report do press the like button subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next update